this. So today I am just crafting, crocheting, and gluing stuff together. So I made this little dress here a few minutes ago. And so I'm going to hot glue um, Velcro dot closures on the back. This one is rough and that one is fuzzy. So I'm going to stick those on the back here. But I'm going to stick something in here. Just to kind of, so the glue doesn't go through. I'm just looking for something real quick. Uh, let me see what I can find real fast. <laughs> well, I can find the pack. No, it's too big. Too big. Well... I can't find anything to stick in there. I was going to stick something just so the glue doesn't go through and stick to this. But I don't even see anything close by me to use. So, I'm just going to try to not let that happen. So. So, this is how I'm going to have to do this. Just going to put my hot glue on here. And then I'm going to put the other one on that side. It's going to go on the inside of it so it laps over. Okay. All right. And so I'm just going to put this one right here. And then I just lap over and touch so that. It has a closer. Alright, I'm going to put my hot glue dots back up. I mean, not hot glue, Velcro dots back up. This is just some, that's from Soology, so that means it came from Hobby Lobby. Some Velcro dots, that's what I use for fasteners. Because I'm not sewing on a button or snap. And hot glue works just fine. So, I have this little doll here. She's a sad eye Susie doll. These little dolls, I think, are from, like, the, they're from the 60s. I can't remember if it's, like, 63 or 4. Penny Bright might be from 63. But these dolls are from the 60s. So, actually, it's a sad eye doll and a Penny Bright body. I took the head off the Penny Bright and put the sad eye on here because she had, like, a really, really horrible, cheap plastic body. Um, so she's on a Penny Bright body, actually. I create dolls like that. <laughs> I'm all into the head swapping. So, anyway, I was going to create her to be a character um, in my doll collection. I have, I have a few of these sad-eyed Susie dolls. Um... And actually, it, there's a movie on Netflix about the Big Eyes paintings. And I believe she is, you know, like a... I don't know if the if she's inspired by the movie or that artist was inspired by her. I think she's inspired by that artist. So anyway, let me put her little dress on her that I just kind of whipped up. Um... I didn't, I, I didn't follow a pattern. I just kind of, um, whipped something up that I thought would fit her, kind of trying it on her as I went. And you can see I'm having trouble here. <laughs> I didn't anticipate having trouble getting it on her. Anyway, the little character that I am, I've been watching, um, Bob's Burgers and there's a little character on there named Louise, and she just cracks me up. It is not a children's cartoon. It's definitely an adult cartoon. Um, 
very dysfunctional family. <laughs> very dysfunctional family, but um, I just get a laugh or two out of it. Anyway, so there are her dress clothes in the back. And um, there's Tina, um, not Tina, Louise in the show. In the movie, I think there's a movie and there's a show, TV shows. Tina wears, not Tina, Louise. She wears um, a bunny hat all the time. And so I was creating this bunny hat. And then I was like, well, she needs a green dress. So I created the dress. And now I need to glue these ears on here. And what I'm going to do is take a peel bottle. Yeah, I'm just putting that on a empty peel bottle that I saved for this reason. So I'm going to put some a bunny ear right here and just hot glue that on. And the same thing over on this other side. I don't know if I actually put enough glue there. I'm just going to add some glue right here and stick this on here. So what all are you working on today? What are you doing? Whether you're crocheting, knitting, loom knitting, hot gluing. <laughs> Um, I had crocheted these little hats up, um, for some Easter photos, and then I just, I just honestly, I felt too bad and never did any kind of doll for Easter photography. That doesn't mean I still won't do it. I'm celebrating Easter all April. <laughs> so, I have wanted to get in there in my doll room and do some... Easter doll photography and so I still I still plan to do that even though I missed Easter from not feeling well but that's what happens sometimes when you're you know have a chronic illness and you're sick you um, might have to do things after the rest of the world <laughs> So that's, that's the plan. Okay, so I'm going to come back and work on her in a minute. I'm going to um, let that dry. I think that is fine there. Okay, and then I made this little hat to actually fit patina. So I need to glue her little ears on here. The problem is the ears want to turn the same exact way. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to put some glue right here. And stick that ear on there. They're whoppy looking, but they'll be cute in photos. All right. Well, let me see if that one needs a little more glue to kind of make it stand up, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to put a little more glue right here at the base, and I can stand that up a little bit better. I'm 
just gonna set that to the side to dry. And let's see what else have I got. I got one more helmet to fit um, like one of the big ruby red dolls. Alright, let me see about these ears. Okay. Hopefully I'll get around to taking some little photos for Easter before April is gone. Trying to make sure these are on straight because the, you know, face is cut out. The other one, it doesn't matter. It's over how you turn the hat. All right, so... Those would be cute, even though the ears are floppy and not necessarily, you know, all straight and everything. It'll be cute because it'll give it character, right? Okay, so I need to put her little shoes on her if I can get them on her. A lot of times I have to get Big, Dad Big Daddy to put shoes on dolls for me. If they cause me too much trouble. And then sometimes I have to dip her feet in like some baby powder. You dip the doll's foot in some baby powder and then try to get them on. They'll slide on pretty easy. So, I don't know where the tongue of that one is. Oh, there it is. I do have a hard time. <laughs> I do have a hard time dressing dolls and stuff like that. But thankfully, Big Daddy does not mind doing that kind of stuff for me. He says, bring them to me. And then he'll say, any more? You got any more? I need some clothes on. <laughs> that shoe's not quite on the heel. It needs to be pushed on a little bit better. That heel needs to be, the cloth of the shoe just needs to be pulled up. I'll have to get Big Daddy to do that. So, let's see what she looks like. Oh, perfect, perfect. Perfect for the character that I was going for. I don't think I'm going to call her Louise, though. Her name, I'd already named this doll Mercy. Yes, I name all my dolls. <laughs> and so, I think I'll just let her continue to be Mercy. And, but, you know, just creating a little character with her. And so she's going to wear that. That's her clothes for now on. <laughs> and let's see how these turned out. Um, I mean, the ears are meant to be like just floppy and kind of crazy. I think that's the look I'm going for anyway. And this one was for Bettina. It's her size head. A little hot glue got there on it. Alright, so there we go. That's what I'll get doing today. 
this afternoon. I just thought I'd film it and show you guys a little crafting. I think that turned out really cute for her. And she will be appearing on Instagram for sure. Thanks for watching.